Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's incredibly important for personal growth and empowerment. Developing assertiveness skills, standing up for yourself and others. As an experienced professional in this field, I've seen how assertiveness can transform lives, build confidence, and create healthier relationships. So, let's jump right in. First things first, let's define what assertiveness actually means. Assertiveness is all about expressing your thoughts, feelings, and needs in a clear, honest, and respectful manner, while also acknowledging the rights and boundaries of others. It's finding that perfect balance between being passive and aggressive. Assertiveness is an essential skill in many aspects of life. It can improve your communication, increase your self-esteem, and help you make better decisions. It's crucial in both personal relationships and professional settings. When you're assertive, you're more likely to achieve your goals, be heard, and build stronger connections with others. Now, let's clarify the difference between assertiveness and aggressiveness. Assertiveness involves expressing your needs without violating others' rights, while aggressiveness involves dominating, intimidating, or disregarding the feelings of others. It's crucial to avoid crossing that line into aggression. Know your rights. Understand that you have the right to express your opinions, say no when necessary, and stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Recognizing your rights is the foundation of assertiveness. Practice self-awareness. Be aware of your emotions and thoughts. Understanding how you feel in various situations can help you respond assertively instead of reacting impulsively. Use I statements. When expressing yourself, use I statements instead of you statements. For example, say, I feel upset when instead of you always make me angry when. This approach keeps the focus on your feelings and avoids sounding accusatory. Listen actively. Part of being assertive is being a good listener. Show empathy and validate others' feelings and opinions. This will encourage them to do the same for you. Practice assertive body language. Stand tall, maintain eye contact, and use a calm tone of voice. Your body language can reinforce your assertiveness and show that you mean what you say. Set boundaries. Learn to say no when you need to and set clear boundaries in your relationships. It's okay to prioritize your well-being and not overcommit yourself. Deal with criticism gracefully. When faced with criticism, respond thoughtfully instead of becoming defensive. Consider the feedback, and if it's constructive, use it to grow and improve. Role play scenarios. Practice assertiveness with a friend or in front of a mirror. Role play different situations to build your confidence and refine your communication skills. Assertiveness isn't just about standing up for yourself, it's also about defending others when needed. If you witness someone being treated unfairly or bullied, using assertive communication can make a significant difference in supporting them and promoting a respectful environment. Remember, developing assertiveness takes time and effort. Don't be too hard on yourself if you face challenges along the way. Recognize any old patterns of behavior that may hinder your progress and work on changing them gradually. All right, my lovely viewers, that's a wrap on today's video about developing assertiveness skills, standing up for yourself and others. Assertiveness is a powerful tool that can positively impact your life and the lives of those around you. So, start incorporating these tips into your daily interactions and watch your confidence soar. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so you never miss any of our empowering content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay assertive and stay awesome. Bye!